Dear Doc, whoever said God is in the details sure knew what they were talking about. Sometimes it's the little things in life that make the biggest difference, like a tight collar or a little girl's smile. And I know Derek will never look past any of them ever again. And I hope I never will either. You know what got me to thinking? All of us could easily name 10 things we'd like to change in our life right off the top of our heads. Things we'd like to see be better. But what would our lives be like if instead of waking up each morning with those things on our minds, we started each day thinking of 10 things that could be worse and being thankful for the way they are? Somehow, I think Derek understands that today. And I got a feeling Nate does too. And I'm happy to say he and Beverly also discovered that the couple who cooks together, well, cooks together. Seems as though an everyday activity can become a real passion if you share it with someone you love. And who couldn't use a little more passion in their life? I got a feeling there's a saying in there someplace that ought to go up on our new board at Westbury. We'll have to get Tippy thinking about that one. And speaking of Tippy, here's one I never saw coming. She's a queen of the art world. Once again, Tippy Bonix put things into words that, well, don't exist. But even better is how she distinguished herself again by the size of her heart when she chose to share the spotlight with Dr. Crane for the simple reason she knew he needed it more than she did. Why is it that I think the world would be a much better place if we had a few more tippies in it? And for sure, I can guarantee you it'd be a lot more entertaining. And Doc, you might want to sit down for this one. I've been learning a little ballet. Now, before you get any visions of me in a tutu or tights, let me assure you I haven't gone quite that far yet. But if Derek's in my first performance is any indication, we seem to be real crowd pleasers. Who knew there was such comedy in the classics? Of course, I suspect this goes without saying, but I'd appreciate it if maybe you wouldn't mention my new dance career to any of the guys back home. There are just some things better left unsaid. I appreciate it. Take care, old buddy. Doc Cassidy.